I have a lot of we have a lot of overlap. Do we? Yeah, with like well, activities. So you do video, photo, graphic design. I mean, obviously the skating. Skating. Do you have any best? slams that you've had there's one i fall and i like hit my head i like fall back hit my head and then i went home right after and i like chopped all my hair off mm-hmm. yeah I, it's got to be related over here wow. we get this giant globe with a net hanging in the bottom mm-hmm. check this on out ah. sorry guys <laughs> just dawned on me how <laughs> that might be <laughs> we're doing good doing very good today when I go on dates, I want to sit next to the person. Yeah. I learn there's different types of I know stances. It's like cringe, but I like. Why would that be cringe? I don't know. People just like say it is. Well, they say if you sit across from somebody, it's what's called a confrontational stance, yeah. and a collaborative stance is where you're sitting yeah, like, next to we're somebody. On the same side. But I'm trying to collaborate. I'm not trying to not trying to I mean, do I just, confrontational. Like, sometimes I'm bad with eye contact, or I just like I don't. I feel like I can talk and think better if I'm not staring. Yeah. Right at you. Like, That's fair. Well, this is so formal. If we're like both just like. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> exactly. I read a book a while back called Wired to Create. Uh-huh. It's about creative people and what makes a creative person's brain different in some ways than somebody who's more left brain, if you will. Yeah. They say one of the common links between famous creative people throughout history is movement, as a matter of fact. Okay. For instance, they say Isaac Newton, for example, it was very uh, common for him to go walk. In every day, they say Einstein did the same thing. Yeah. Many great thinkers and great minds constantly were walking laps around some track of some type. Like they say, um, when the body is in motion, the mind can be as well, I feel that. along those lines. Yeah. I feel like you've probably had some weird jobs. Right. I had so many weird jobs. It just seems very on brand yeah. for you. I don't. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but it feels appropriate. You seem like someone who hops between a lot of jobs. Not probably. hops between a lot yeah. of jobs, but like you've probably found yourself yes. in some weird places. Yeah. I was an assistant for this artist who taught classes in Boston when I lived in Boston. It was like during COVID. She was like 90 years old, Irish. She had like a hunchback. And she okay. was like four foot nothing. Like she had some sort of like physical issue that like made her okay. like really short. And she would just like cross a lot of boundaries. She was like she cross a lot of boundaries. Yeah, she'd be calling me at 11 p.m., leaving like two minute long ranting voicemails. No. I was like, this is driving me insane. I'm not at home. Like, Irish accent, like, and it was like a hoarder's den house. And she had all these puppets. That was like her specialty. And I was that way. like helping her do computer stuff, which I will. I hate helping. Well, people do. You're not with their computers. You don't I'm like, like to feel like a hero as she the tech like, support. She would like, uh, uh, like, uh. I'm like, you click it, like, just fucking, like, what? Do you have any specific habits that you think make you unique? Obviously, you do, but are yeah. there any that stand out to you? Um, I don't. I cover my mirror at home. You and cover like a your mirror that I put in front of it, just so I don't get like sucked in, I guess. It's no. not like a I don't want to see myself, I have low self-esteem. No, it's I like didn't a, think that it's at just all. Like a, yeah, it's really not. <laughs> but, Is it, are you superstitious, would you say? No. <laughs> You're not superstitious, but you cover the mirror. I just, like, Do you know someone it? who's very superstitious? No, I just like, I kept having these freak outs. I, w- I went through a phase, I was doing a lot of oh, and fair. I would just like freak out and stare at myself in the mirror. And mm. I was like, solution, cover the cover mirror. Cover the mirror. Like, I've got um, like a pair of scissors hung on every wall. Oh, not every wall, but like each room in my apartment. Just because you always need a pair of scissors. That stuff. Huh. Like, hung on the there. wall. You just hang it where you can see it, and then it's always there. It's big like, on like hanging things on the wall that I uh, use a lot. It's like uh, the wall is your tool belt. Yeah. I get it. I get it. That That's surprisingly logical, actually. We're just like making an apartment work for you and not necessarily be aesthetic. What's something you like that maybe creeps other people out? Hanging scissors on every scissors wall? On every <laughs> that might be it right there. I don't there. think it's creepy. I don't know. I don't think it's creepy either, but somebody might think it's creepy. Because um, they're like, why do you have all these scissors? They watch know, that Jordan Peele movie, Us, where they've got yeah, the fucking yeah. scissors. I like, like scary baby dolls. I've found this one. I don't collect them or anything, but I've got one and it's really eerie. It's vintage. It's creepy as hell. It's vintage. I got it from this woman on Facebook Marketplace. We were doing the trade-off. I went to her house and she's like, 
when you're done with him or her, can I <gasps> buy her back from you? And I was like, Do you what? Mean when I'm done with her? I was like, I just need it for this baby shower to like scare my sister. Oh, you were just borrowing the doll, basically. I bought her. Like you I bought her. I paid $10, but she was like, can I buy her back? And I was like, why are you selling her in the first place? But I've, I've been talking with the girl again. I'm like, do you want her back? Like, and we just haven't been able to link up. Would you say you have any cheat codes, if you will, for living an interesting life? Oh, okay. As someone who lives an interesting, multi-talented, multifaceted life. I guess just like if you're not having fun, leave. If you're not having fun, leave. Yeah. If you have any common sense or if you've learned what's good for you. Yeah, but not everything's for okay. you. It's just like trying to learn from past experiences, you know, how you might yeah. feel in any given new situation. I feel like the perfect example of this is skating Yeah. in any form. Yeah. Because skating is, has probably been one of the most powerful metaphors in my life for, for sure. life in general, where it's like you are trying to accomplish something, you have an idea in your head of what you want, and then you have to merge that with the reality of trying something and generally failing over and over yeah. and over again. But you get up, Hard work go can, back. Can be proportional to yeah. getting better at something, but not always. Sometimes it leads to a setback. You gotta like break up some some of the rules. Like some of them are just like suggestions. I think. Mm -hmm. Wear shoes that are comfortable. Wear shoes that are comfortable. Like, Please. It's too short to have blisters, man. It's too short. Well, we're here at the skate yeah, park. <laughs> Thank you for going on a walk with me. Anytime. As always, yeah. like, if you think there's somebody else I should have a conversation with, please let me know. Tag them below. If you have a great question, please also put down in the comments. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.